Welcome to this week's edition of The Link. And uh, we're discussing uh, tonight online business. And we have people who know what they're doing in this area. And that is Jumia. And tonight we have uh, uh, MD Jumia Uganda, Ron Kawamara. Ron, welcome. Thank you for having me. Usually we have a few minutes, so we go straight away. Yes. You have been, so to speak, making noise, and so people know you exist now. Mm. You do stuff on, uh, you do sell online. Mm. Let me ask a basic question, and people would like to know who really is buying online, and how do you catch their eye? Mm. That's an interesting question. Who buys online is everybody. We see a very big cross section of Ugandans uh, across all age groups mm. and across all professions. And uh, obviously, uh, having said that, mm -hmm. uh, we see that uh, the most common group is always people between the ages of 20 and 40. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we see uh, people buying small items, large items. And as a result, we see a huge uh, spread mm -hmm. of people buying Jumia. Now, Jumia has multiple businesses. Mm -hmm. There's a Jumia site where people can buy electronics, fashion, uh, anything you need, phones, TVs, groceries. Um, that's Jumia site. We have this Jumia food yeah. where people can order for food uh, from about 200 restaurants in Kampala for delivery. We have Jumia travel where they can book flights mm. and hotels. Mm. So we see that there's everything for everybody. Mm. Yeah. How do you catch their eye? I mean, you put stuff online. Yes. How do you make sure the right guys get what they want? They, they pay attention to you. We, we are very data driven. We okay. invest a lot of money in business intelligence. Mm. We invest a lot of money uh, understanding the customers, good customer insight. Mm. We invest a lot of money uh, in uh, doing product tests. We do focus groups. And uh, as a result, uh, we try to customize the Jumia experience. Mm. Obviously, we know what our customers are looking for. We look at what they search when they come on Jumia. Mm -hmm. That we makes sense. We can see which... Um, what do they search for on their own private times? We mm. get this information from mm. Google and mm. other um, aggregators. Okay. So we know exactly what customers need, mm. what customers are buying, and what customers are looking for. Okay. Consequently, mm. we're able to tailor our ads to the specific segment. If I know you, you're a young professional mm. and, and you live in this area, mm. I know most likely you're interested in electronics, okay. uh, interested in maybe baby products, mm. interested in... Uh, a specific kind of fashion. So uh, when you go online and you see a Jumia ad, that ad is most likely tailored to your... Mm, I go, I'm you. looking at that for other things and then I see Jumia yes, pop up. Yes, Jumia. Then we know that you are a target market and okay. we know exactly the kind of products um, you will need to buy. So we invest a lot of time understanding our customers. As a result, we also invest our time trying to make sure our assortment of products is available. For example, in Uganda, yeah. we have 600,000 products available on Jumia. Mm -hmm. That's more than half a million products. Uh, there's not a single supermarket, a single mall anywhere in Uganda that can sell 600,000 options. You're an aggregator. We're an aggregator. Mm. So, and so we, this, this is not an accident. Mm. We take our time to understand what customers need, what people in Kampala are buying. Because as an e-commerce, uh, you have to solve a real problem. Because you, you have no physical address as such. You have no physical come. address, yes. So you've got so to understand them to reach them where they almost. Exactly. Right? We need to understand what they're looking for because mm -hmm. we don't have a loop. In a supermarket, someone comes in and says, I don't, do you have this? Yeah. Next time you stock that. Online, we need to make sure that when you come to Jumia, mm. we have everything that you need. Okay. Yeah. That's very interesting. Mm. So... Uh, let's just go back there. Does anything sell online? And here I'm picking from your experience as mm. an online business. Mm. Does anything sell? What really sells? Well, basically, um, the online world is not too different from the offline world. I thought it was. It's not, <laughs> not too different. No, mm. just that one is in the cloud and the other one is here. The reality is that um, it's the same people mm. who are buying on Kampala Road, who are buying in, in, a, in a mall, who mm. also come to Jumia. Mm. Now, Having said that, mm. um, uh, what we see in this market, yeah. uh, people initially when they come to Jumia start with a small item to mm. try the system, mm. uh, but mainly people are buying electronics. Yeah. So Phone. phones, mm. TVs, uh, there's home appliances. Now we're seeing now as more and more people trust Jumia yeah. and more uh, there's a word of mouth going around. Mm -hmm. uh, I think most of our customers come to us 
uh, through word of mouth. Okay. That uh, their colleague, their peer, their friend, their family member is satisfied. So is satisfied. Satisfaction is yes, crucial. Is satisfied. Mm. Then they come to us. Mm. And now we see that um, initially we were known for selling a lot of phones, TVs, and appliances, like yeah. cookers, and you know. Now we see that more and more customers are mm. trusting us, buying fashion, buying groceries, okay. buying everything. So now we are seeing a much more balanced uh, kind of sales happening on Jumia. The people are buying everything you said groceries what did yes. you mean by that so uh, groceries tomatoes are and the yes. greens really <laughs> <laughs> so here i mean that uh, customers are buying food uh, that or items that they can consume in the home. home so that could be some food items it could be um, toiletries it could be cleaning supplies it could okay. be a lot of things all those are found on jumia we have an on-demand service under jumia food as well where people can get even more fresh produce as well mm. given so the options people have on Jumia and this is uh, where I hope that uh, more and more people go uh, buying and mm. selling mm. online is mm. that uh, and the only way we can do that is by having the biggest options the biggest range of options yeah. for all our customers because if we say uh, we'll just do electronics and we'll just do TVs and just do our appliances yet people want fashion People want, mm. and you have understood that they want that. So you are taking the marketplace kind of to them. Yes, that's with a, their phone. That's the thing is, Jumia is a, a marketplace. Mm. Is that uh, we don't own these products. We work with distributors. We yes. work with uh, licensed sellers yeah. to make sure one, we get the biggest range of products. Two, at the best prices. We we want to, and we promise our customers that um, if you find p prices cheaper um, offline. We pay you 10 times the difference. And we mean that. We know that we have the best pricing mm -hmm. because we don't have a wholesaler. We work directly with the distributor. We work with a, a legitimate importer. So, so you, we, you remove the we remove all the middle part, yes. <laughs> I and see why your prices are competitive now. Yes. Ron, uh, time is running very fast on us. If I wanted to sell a product on Jumia's online platform, mm -hmm. what does it take? I'm sure not, not everybody can sell there. Who, who are you looking for? How do I get on? Well, with you guys. we are looking for very good sellers mm -hmm. who have legitimate products mm. and who have deep stock. Mm. So we don't want anybody who sells products that are not validated, that don't have warranty, products that we, don't, we can't trace mm. a certificate of origin. Um, and then obviously, uh, so, but once you have all those, yeah. your legitimate seller, we send you up. We verify your products to make sure they meet our quality controls. Mm. We validate that you have enough stock to satisfy mm. the customers because now you can come in and say, I need the cell phones, but I only have three. Um, now, if we place you on the platform, uh, customers They've come, to be there. they have to be there. Mm. So we need to validate that. And then the most important, which is where Jumia has a big advantage yeah. over many of the offline um, stores, mm. is that our products have warranty, which is very, very important. Mm. Customers have seven days to return, return the product mm. if they don't like it. Yeah. You've shopped on Jumia, yeah. you, you told me. If you don't like your product, mm. you can bring it back, no questions asked, yeah. within seven days. Mm. And on top of that, we have insurance for all electronics. Yeah. So you can select if you buy a phone or a TV, you can insure that mm. against damage, yeah. against theft. Yeah. So if anything happens to that phone, your insurance uh, will cover you. Okay. All those things we're doing because we know that as an e-commerce company, it's a new field. Mm -hmm. We deal with an element of mistrust. Customers will think... Yeah, 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 it's important. Part yes, part so there's a mistrust, trust, mm. trust of... Mm -hmm. of brand. And to be honest, if you look at... Um, and there's a reason for that. Yeah. People buy fake products on Kampala and uh, Kampala Road and so on and so on. So people are uh, skeptical. Mm. That's why we give them all these protections. You can pay cash on delivery, receive the product, check its, uh, its authenticity, and then pay. You have seven days to return it. Yeah. And on top of that, you can buy insurance again. We do all these things to make it as safe as possible for people who go online to do business. Okay. Yeah. Ron, as Jumia, you are kind of like a model, I would say, with the, tough, the toughness of business. Now, young mm. people are maybe listening and thinking, mm. okay, online is the future. Mm. If you are, you are going to share some two things or three, what would you tell them? They will not be, like, they will not be you, but they are going to use you as an example. If I'm doing, on, doing online, what should I bear in mind? Key things I can't miss out if I'm going to survive. Well, number one, I, I, people say that uh, online is the future. 
I believe I, so myself. I, I disagree. I think online <laughs> okay. is now. Online okay. is now. Because the future okay. is here. You're also right. right. Yes. Mm. So the future is here. Mm. Uh, online is here. Mm. Now, I have to admit, that being said, in Uganda, yeah. we have barely scratched the surface I of the opportunity. Mm. We have barely scratched the opportunity of e-commerce. Mm. And there's very few players in that space. Yeah. Now, if you look at Europe, and North America, yeah. e-commerce makes up about 16%, 16 to 20% mm. of the general economy. economy. In Uganda and in many of, uh, of other African markets, yeah. um, e-commerce is less than 1%. Wow. So the opportunity is there. Mm. And right now we are seeing that people are willing to adopt e-commerce, yeah. that early adopters are very happy mm. with buying online. Customers who buy on Jumia come back. Mm. So what does this mean? Uh, it means that the opportunity is there for young entrepreneurs to, to, to go on and start an uh, uh, online, online company mm -hmm. or online business. Mm -hmm. And I want them to see uh, the internet as a great equalizer. Yeah. You don't need a lot of capital to start an online yeah. business. Yeah. You don't need a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. All you need is to be a master of your craft. Do if you well. do it very well. If you're starting up an e-commerce site that's going to focus on selling artwork, yeah. art pieces, mm. that you're going to help young painters and artists to sell, make it incredible. Make the quality amazing. Mm. Make sure your customers are getting a good experience. Because at the end of the day, yeah. any online company has one thing. We sell good experiences. Yes. Because we take with us, yes, the, the experience has to be great. Mm. Is that custom? And because that's what we're solving. Yes, at Jumia, we offer good experience. We have very good prices. Uh, and, but uh, all those things lead up to a good experience. Okay. So any startup out there or any young entrepreneur who wants to get in the online space, I say, number one, make sure where is the opportunity. Yes. And what, what is, look at a problem first. What problem do I want to solve? If you find a problem and you can find a solution that's a digital solution, then you have a good step. Don't uh, Bruno, I'm indicated there that you yes. <laughs> we're running out of time. The lessons, um, many people say, when they explain to us, you stop. But they indicate to me that you need to go. Ron, thank you so much. We had like six discussion questions. We've just only done four. Mm -hmm. uh, I was discussing with uh, some people online and they were saying, you need enough time. I told them, ask the powers that be to give me more time. <laughs> that was Ron um, Kawamana, the MD of Jumia, Uganda. We couldn't finish the conversation because of time. But thank you for joining us tonight.